ChatGPT Images released a new update to their image generation tools, bringing them a step closer to contextual AI image creation tools like Google's Nano Banana Pro and the Flux Context models. I recently created a video showing 10 ways architects can use Nano Banana Pro in the design process, so I thought I'd put Nano Banana Pro in a showdown against the new ChatGPT Images model by testing out some of the same workflows and seeing which tools work better for architectural image creation. Let's find out which is the better image generation tool for architects. Round 1. Create a figure ground site plan from a satellite image. The first workflow I tried in Nano Banana Pro was creating a figure ground site plan from a satellite image. I was able to take a screenshot of a satellite image of Berlin and recreate it as a figure ground plan using Nano Banana Pro. If I take the same image and prompt ChatGPT to do the same thing, let's see what the output image is. It's fair to say there's a big difference here, with ChatGPT being unable to accurately trace the buildings of the satellite image I input. If we compare this to Nano Banana Pro, it's able to output far crisper building outlines and remove all other parts of the image. I'm going to give this round to Nano Banana Pro. Round 2. Create a textural mood board of your site based on latitude and longitude coordinates. I asked Nano Banana Pro to create a textural mood board of a site based on latitude and longitude coordinates for both Melbourne and Dubai. These outputs were pretty accurate to what I asked in my prompt and seemed quite specific to the site coordinates. Let's use the same prompt with the Melbourne coordinates and ask ChatGPT to make its own image for us. It's not a bad outcome, but the images definitely feel more broadly related to the city of Melbourne instead of the specific location of the coordinates. There's also a bit of AI dreaming going on here in the image creation. It's not quite as crisp and refined as Nano Banana Pro. Let's give it another go with our coordinates from Dubai. Again, it's not quite the correct location in Dubai that we're seeing in this image, particularly if we compare it to the actual location in Google Street View. It also mentions a location called El Atar, and if we look this up, whilst it's in Dubai, it's a fair way away from our original coordinates. I think this round was closer, but again, it seems like Nano Banana Pro is able to produce a more refined output, and takes a lead 2-0. Round 3. Turn your sketches into photographs. In my previous Nano Banana tutorial, I was using some of the amazing sketches by Mahmoud Kamal from IDA to create realistic architectural photographs. The output results were quite stunning and really true to the sketches Mahmoud created. Let's see what ChatGP2 can do with Mahmoud's sketches. So it's not too bad an output. I think there are things in this image that I prefer that follow Mahmoud's sketches more closely than my Nano Banana Pro output could. In particular, this commercial stepped building below the canopy seems to be largely ignored by Nano Banana Pro, but ChatGPT has included it in the image. I do think the ChatGPT image looks a little more stylistic, whereas Nano Banana Pro is able to create a more realistic photograph as an output. Overall, I'm going to call this one a tie. It seems like both ChatGPT and Nano Banana Pro have their own pros and cons in this workflow, so I'll give them half a point each. Round 4. Change a building's facade based on a reference facade. One of the most powerful workflows I demonstrated in my previous Nano Banana Pro course was the ability to quickly test different facades on an existing image of a building. I was able to apply a facade system like this one onto a building like this with the final output looking like this. I was then able to iterate through multiple different facade options using the same workflow. Let's try the exact same thing using the same facade with ChatGPT. So it kind of looks like the facade we input, but not quite. You can see it's missing the balcony element on the facade, and the window framing looks a bit different. So it's definitely lagging behind the Nano Banana Pro output. Let's try a concrete facade as another option in ChatGPT. So it's able to handle the concrete facade more successfully, and seems a bit more on par with Nano Banana Pro. Overall, this one goes to Nano Banana Pro, which seems to be able to handle a multitude of different facade iterations almost flawlessly, with the score moving to 3.5 to 0.5. Round 5. Turn an architectural image into a Revit screenshot of a 3D model. 
In my previous tutorial, I was able to take an image I created in mid-journey of a speculative architectural building and ask Nano Banana Pro to reimagine it as a 3D Revit model with a section cutting through the building. It was able to create an incredibly convincing 3D screenshot, but what I was most impressed by was its ability to add convincing structural elements like the centered structural lift core, the larger truss on the top left supporting the cantilever, the convincing basement level, and the circulation void in the building. So not only was it able to create a convincing screenshot, it was able to use reasoning to imagine a convincing interior of this building. This is Nano Banana Pro on super hard mode, so let's see if ChatGPT can step up to the plate as well when I add this image and ask it to create a Revit model with a section cut. I mean, it's not bad, but it's nowhere near as convincing as Nano Banana Pro. It's able to turn it into what looks like a 3D model, but all of the great spatial logic Nano Banana Pro was able to integrate is absent in the ChatGPT model. There's some indication of a structural idea, but not quite on the same level as Nano Banana Pro. It also doesn't quite look like a Revit model screenshot, with the interface a ways off from being convincing. So I think this round also goes to Nano Banana Pro. So that brings us to a final score of Nano Banana Pro 4.5 and ChatGBT 0.5. So it's a pretty resounding result with Nano Banana Pro clearly the more superior image creation tool for designers at this stage. The update to ChatGPT seems really powerful and contextual image editing is nothing to sneer at, but it seems like it's still a fair way behind Nano Banana Pro. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel by pressing the subscribe button at the bottom right of the screen.